Mr. Whiskers found himself in Helgen, at the mercy of the Imperial Legion, captured by mistake in an Imperial Stormcloak battle. Other than his skooma business... You got some skooma, eh? Right, buddy? Pal? I need it! You got it! Mr. Whiskers was an innocent and law-abiding citizen. Hadvar, however, insulted me from the get-go. Your kind always seems to find trouble. But noted that I was not on the list. Captain, what should we do? He's not on Saving the list. Saving my life. Forget the list. He goes to the block. Who the f does this bitch think she f is? Mr. Whiskers never forgets these kinds of things. Oh, yeah! As many of these Stormcloaks were being issued little oogie boogie boo boos from the meanie weenie Imperials, my turn came quickly after. No, 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 no! Wait, 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 wait! Wait, 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 wait! Suddenly, my savior, my king, my light at the end of the tunnel. Mr. Whiskers' cat's instincts were like no other. He wanted to kill that big bird. To do this, I had to swiftly escape Helgen. Before starting my journey in Skyrim, there were a few prior business relations I had to take care of. Didn't want to get caught up in any of those forget the list situations again. So I paid a visit to my skooma supplier. I'm just a There were no more ties to my skooma business. I was now quite clearly a law abiding citizen. To be quite honest, Mr. Whiskers wasn't the best at the skooma business. He most certainly had a couple taste of his own product. Holy shit! Oh! Jeez! Mr. Whiskers had many opportunities to gain a hold of weapons. However, he was a classical cat, a man of elegance, grace, and patience. He never found himself a fan of swords, axes, and daggers. They were too quick and too messy. He was much more a fan of his fists. The use of his powerful paws were just natural for Mr. Whiskers. Even this guy didn't stand a chance. <laughs> Upon finishing up at Bleak Falls, Mr. Whiskers went to the nearest town, Riverwood. He met this young Nord named Sven, a jealous and ugly man in love with some Riverwood lassie known as Camilla Valerius. Camilla Valerius away from me. She's already mine, I keep telling him. This mullet man asked me to do him a favor, to give Camilla a venomous letter. Here, give Camilla this letter. It's full of venomous nonsense. Tell her it's from Feindal. So, I did what any natural cat would do, and Until found Feindal, the man Sven was clearly jealous of. To my surprise, he was even uglier. Here, unmatched in all of Skyrim, to be sure. God, I hate elves. I hate them so much. They plague Skyrim. They plague my dreams. If only I could rid them of this. Fandal had asked me to do the opposite. Here, give this letter to Camilla and tell her it's from Sven. I went looking for this Camilla. Huh. I stumbled into the Riverwood Trader, where I clearly intruded on a domestic issue. I said no. No adventures. Mr. Whiskers, however, didn't hear a thing. He was infatuated with Camilla. He had never seen such beauty. Her 2011 pixels burned right into my own eyelids through the screen. Her yellow dress and walk, the way she sat down. Mr. Whiskers was truly in love. Now I had to choose which of these two dudes would I screw over. So, I chose to screw over Sven. Another poem, I bet. 
He does know how to make a girl blush. What's this? If that oaf thinks all I'm going to do is stay in that filthy house of his and clean, I'll... You can tell Sven that he already has a mother. I'm not speaking to him anymore. I had further plans for Feindal. Meow, meow. <laughs>